welcome to Festival First Night from here at the heart of the 2009 Sydney Festival. This year promises to be bigger and better than ever before with over a quarter of a million people flooding into the city to enjoy a night of fun and frivolity. I caught up with a few of them earlier to find out what they make of it all and who they're hoping to see. I think the Sydney Festival is absolutely fantastic. I mean, look at there's thousands of people around, lots of good people, so it's lots of fun. We just arrived and it's absolutely fabulous. Unbelievable. <laughs> so many people, everyone's in a good mood and they're all having fun and there's everyone around, everyone's willing to help you out. It's really good, I'm loving it. I think it's a great initiative that kind of brings everyone to Sydney to see the best things that Sydney has to offer in summer. It's fantastic, it's a lovely atmosphere and it's really buzzing and it's uh, really exciting, it's great. Well, there certainly seem to be some high jinks in the air, but who can blame them? With over 600 musicians performing over 10 different stages, with everyone from Busy P to Mr. Scruff, from Santa Gold to Grace Jones, and the best thing about it is, it's all free. Hooray! But who has masterminded this cunning plan? Well, earlier on, I caught up with festival director Fergus Linehan to find out what it's all about. Sydney Festival started as just a big kind of civic celebration with a lot of street work and all the rest of it and it kind of grew more sophisticated over the years but it still has that ethos so it's always a combination of like major works of theatre, dance and music in the Opera House and all the rest of it but also big outdoor concerts, big street theatre, kind of something for everyone really. What are the highlights for you particularly? Oh, this year we have a very strong theatre programme, doing a big project with Sydney Theatre Company, with their acting company, and, and Kate Blanchett has just taken over as artistic director and she's acting with the company this year. We're doing a big festival within the festival on an island in the middle of the harbour, which is curated by Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. Um, and then on, we're doing a big opening night, which is Saturday night, which has everybody from kind of Grace Jones working all the way through, which is a lot of, that's a very big celebratory event, but a lot of the artists who will be playing throughout the three weeks will play for free that night. Look, it's Linehan there. And it is indeed a big opening night. There really is so much going on with artists, musicians and performers gathered here from all over the world. There really is something for everyone. Just take a look at this. It's an updated version of the old-fashioned way, which is social music, where everybody's a part of the dancing, everybody's a part of the singing, and we make it as much like a party or a little Grateful Dead show as possible. Disco time! <laughs> Love in the city! Oh. This area is called the Lane Ways, and as soon as you walk in, you're hit by a wave of different sounds and visual projections all over the buildings. I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. It's got a great vibe. Don't do what you think they're going to do, and wear it like that cup could make a really good glove. And so you just sort of get into that sort of... Cheeky, cheeky dancers. And the theme of this year's festival is Sydney dancers. So earlier on this evening, I went down to join the crowds as downtown Sydney was transformed into a mass dance floor as everyone did the Sydney. Check this out. The guys up on the stage here are teaching everybody the Sydney and tonight they're going to try to synchronise all of the stages so that everyone's doing the dance together. Now I don't think my dancing's too bad so I'm going to get in the festival spirit and give it a go. Sydney and it's still a balmy 21 degrees. A 
can't quite imagine it ever getting to that temperature at the Edinburgh Festival first night, but there you go. Now, if you didn't manage to get here tonight, don't worry, because the festival keeps running until the 31st of January. So all that's left for me to do is to finish my plastic cup of wine and to go and catch the end of Grace Jones. So from a dancing Sydney, good night.